So what was the actual practical use of Zeppelins back during World War I? Well, my friend, allow me to explain. Like any invention, when Zeppelins or lighter-than-air ships were first invented, people tried to figure out what kind of military applications they could have. And with these guys at the outbreak of World War I, that would be bombing. Yeah, you heard me right. The first time that London was being bombed was not during the London Blitz. It was during World War I when the Germans were bombing it with Zeppelin airships. Now, one might look at this whole thing and go, okay, how the hell was an airship able to do that? Wouldn't a plane simply just shoot it out of the sky? I mean, it's a massive target to hit. Which, yes, yes it was. But for the first several years of the war, Zeppelins were actually remarkably hard to take down. You see, unlike the early biplanes, the greatest strength of the Zeppelin was that it could very quickly ascend. The amount that a Zeppelin could climb in just a few minutes was more than a biplane would be able to do in an hour. With the max altitude usually being far beyond what a biplane was capable of reaching. Which, although that height made their bombing runs very inaccurate, it simultaneously meant that for the longest time, they just couldn't be touched.